This is a joyous occasion that was started many years ago by our Heavenly Father. If you take this book that I am holding, the Bible, God's Word, you will find in its pages a love story. He's the true author of authentic love. In the scripture it says, this is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And we're going to rejoice today. This ceremony is one that is not taken lightly or entered into without much thought. This is a ceremony that celebrates the love of a man and a woman in the sight and the blessing of God. John, a passage of scripture, Ephesians 5, 25 says this, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. It's a self-giving love, a self-sacrificing love. And John, that love, if applied in your marriage to Kaylee, you won't have any problems. The writer of Ecclesiastes tells us that a cord of three strands cannot be easily broken. Let God be the third strand. John, you see, God has ordained this sacred union from the beginning of all time between a man and a woman. You walk the same ordained path that many have walked before you that are gathered here today. Love is self-sacrificing, forsaking all our wants, our wishes, and looking to the needs of others. John, will you take Kaylee to be your wife? Kaylee, will you take John to be your husband? I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. John, you may kiss your wife. Kaylee, you may kiss your husband. What God has joined together, let not man tear apart.
beginning of the Bible, in the first book of Genesis, we find how God made everything and created everything to bring glory and honor to Him. Mankind is His greatest creation. And we find in the story of that creation that He said when He created man, it's not only good, it's very good. introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Tyler Hodge.